love coming to music stores like this, where after an hour of browsing, I'd buy an album or two for about $20 to $30. Then I got hooked on iTunes, where I could download songs for a dollar a piece. Now, I spend $10 a month for over 20 million songs I can stream on my phone or my computer. Services like Spotify, RDO, and Google Music all offer pretty much the same thing. On-demand music where you can listen to really any song you want at any time. They're not like Pandora, which is really just a streaming radio service. And now Beats, the company that makes these very trendy headphones, is entering the on-demand streaming space with an app you're going to want to try out. What Beats does better than all the others is help you find stuff you actually want to listen to amongst those millions of songs. Available on the iPhone, Android, and Windows phone, the app does this by getting pretty personal with you when you first sign up. You tap on these floating circles to identify what sort of genre of music you like. One tap for a like, two taps for a love, and a press and a hold for a hate. The next step is telling it what sorts of bands you like based on those genres. Be honest, lying about your taste does no one any good. Don't judge me. With that, Beats feels like it knows me well enough to start suggesting music. On this Just For You tab, they've already made some really good recommendations. But the best part of the music discovery is this part of the app called The Sentence, and I can actually tell Beats where I am, what I'd like to be doing, who I'm with, and what kind of music I'd like to listen to. So let's try I'm at home, I feel like chilling out, with my family, to indie. And then I can just hit play, and I've got a new playlist. You can get even crazier with it, like I'm on the streets and feel like making bad choices with zombies to music from the 60s. Where the hell are all the zombies? <laughs> when I like a song choice Beats has made, it's a quick and easy step to adding the artist's entire album to your library and even download it for offline listening when you don't have cell service. But the big question is, how does Beats stack up against the others in this space, especially Spotify, which has become the darling of the streaming world in spite of its pretty clunky app? All the main competitors charge $9.99 a month for on-demand streaming across all devices with no ads. However, Spotify and RDO offer a free option with ads and limited functionality. Google Music and Beats don't offer any free option. And remember, with all of these, you don't actually own the music. None of these on-demand music services let you download them for keeps, like iTunes. If you stop paying for your subscription, the tracks go away. Spotify and RDO also have better websites and social integration than Beats. Most offer the same selection of music, but there are a few artists that can only be found on some of these services. For instance, Led Zeppelin fans will find a whole lot of love on Spotify, but none on Beats or RDO or Google Music All Access. Sadly, no Beatles available on any of the services. Still, I'm loving Beats. The interface is more lively than the others, at least until Spotify releases its new app at the end of the month. But above all, finding music hasn't been this fun since being in a music store. You can't get up on the dance floor.